the fence. Both you two, for his request, are receiving lifetime bans on the property. Might as well enjoy my last view of the Six Flags parking lot before I'm banned for life, everybody. I'm getting my gear. You come undone. over and video us. You come over and video us. Get I came over. And get off the property, Johnny. We are out, man. This place Dude. sucks. <laughs> well, that was the stupidest, most horrible experience I've ever encountered with any type of public official. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. If I'm gonna do a report for this, I need somebody's to. No, you do not, sir. I'm sorry. All right, so all of you guys know about the situation that happened with the Rome Police Department, uh, Sergeant Hutchins. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I got a letter on Facebook sent that was actually sent to me, and basically the Rome Police Department put out a statement and I'm gonna let you guys read it right here. The release YouTube video shows Sergeant Hudgens become agitated with the divers when they refuse to provide their names for an incident report. It is a policy of the Rome Police Department to treat civilians with respect and civility. The Rome Police Department has reviewed the YouTube video and determined that Sergeant Hutchins acted in an unprofessional manner and brought discredit to the Rome Police Department. This matter has been addressed administratively with disciplinary action taken that made a part of Sergeant Hutchins' permanent file. Sergeant Hutchins is a 17-year veteran of the department and has an excellent service record. He acknowledges that he should have handled the situation better. On behalf of all members of the Rome Police Department, we offer an apology to the community at large. We failed to represent ourselves in a proper manner in this instance. So it was crazy. Um, I'm not sure what they were doing about the situation, but I do know that they did give us that letter, which uh, kind of let us know a little bit about what happened with that grave marker that we were able to find. From what they said, it was a display piece. So these could have been fictional names that were actually made up for the plaque, but I had difficulties there with Rome Police Department, and I just recently had a difficulty with Six Flags. Johnny and I from the channel Georgia River Boys went over to Six Flags, and this is what happened. All right, I'm with Johnny, and we're gonna be diving this bridge to see what we can find. Good luck, man. Oh my god. Are you okay? Oh. What the hell? What? Dude. That freaked me out. Dude. Was it because of this? Because. I don't know what happened. I couldn't get up. Oh my god, dude. Sorry. Holy. Yeah, we, I think it was just a miscommunication between the owner and us because we talked to him before and he told us that uh, it was fine for us to talk to him and, and just like go down there based off of what he said. But sorry. They told me that he had spoke with y'all but wasn't really sure what, what was going on. I think by the time y'all came here, we were already down there, I think. Yeah, because I was sitting by the front gates when y'all come in a while ago. Okay. I don't have a problem with okay. it, but yeah. yes, obviously sir. this is private property. They don't want you okay. here. You got to leave. Okay, so we're not being banned for life or anything. or What do you call it's your, your part. Well, I have to issue the lifetime CT. Okay. Uh, I can give you the corporate number to see if you guys can. Oh, really? Uh, Are you reverse, serious? Try to get that reversed. Oh, yeah. Let me Man. just get it straight. So I'm getting banned lifetime because the CEO of Six Flags stopped us. We talked to him. And he we, said everything was okay. Him, I wanted to mention before we get into this video that I've already talked to Deidre from Six Flags. She was very helpful with everything. And we've already handled the situation. The lifetime ban was actually removed. So that is not in effect anymore, which is great. 
because of you guys. And I think you guys were able to call them, which kind of helped change their minds, but I'm not really sure about the whole situation, but I did get an email from one of them and they wanted to actually invite us all for a day at the park. So I do want to mention that this has been resolved, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. Please enjoy. Y'all went past the fence. We really did. Yeah. Well, I understand that, but he knew exactly where to come find you and ran down the side. Because we were side. underneath That's the bridge. Easy. This is my son. I'm not gonna watch my son, the CEO, he told us he's the president. And then yeah. when he leaves, okay guys, let's sneak down here. I wouldn't do that in front of my 13 yeah. year old. He told us, go ahead guys, be safe. And I'm gonna let the cops know that you're here. If they got a problem, we'll swing by. He said, okay. I don't know. Now we're banned for life property. from the. I mean, so that's. Again, hey, understand, I'm not banning it. Just so we're on the no, same this page. This guy is, but that's cool. If y'all want to do it. Actually, his boss is. Hey, if y'all want to do it, go for it. They got. They can do what they can do. Um, the one thing I can tell you, and correct me if I'm wrong with the process, um, but they make the decision here, and then they we do a report, they do a report, and all that good stuff. And then in a couple of days, you can contact their corporate, you can file a claim to do some type of reversal. Okay. And then through that, you can fight the process. And I, I can't believe he's telling you to do this, you know? At the end of the day, it's still a restricted area. Yeah. Our policy states that we have to give you a lot on CT. Once you go into a restricted area, we consider it as being on a ride or anything like that. Restricted means lot time. Like I said, no, I see what y'all do, and I'm going to watch videos. You gotta click video on your title sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind giving me all y'all's names and badge numbers? Um, if that, sure. if that, It'll you be on the police report. Okay. Okay. You mind giving me your name? Can we get your name? Can and we badge get your number? name and badge number? I mean, it's policy. Can I get your name? Why would? Why do you need my name? Because you're being issued a criminal trespass. You can get, you can get my property. name. Yeah, my name's Britton Lockhart. Okay, I'm Officer right. Henderson, CS, badge number one five four six. I just want to know who I'm talking to and just yeah. make sure you know with my We're attorneys right and everything. Like I said, okay. um, so, like I said, both you two, per his request, are receiving lifetime bans on the property. Um, I did talk to him. We're not going to ban your son because he's just too long for the ride. That way he can still come back with him or a friend if he wants to, to this one or Whitewater. That's your call if you want to let him or not. That's up to you, but I'm not going to ban him. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably probably come back and see y'all in a couple. Y'all want to? Is that it? Yep. All right. Well, you fellas have a nice day. So if you're being passed, you are to leave the property, we're told to do so. Not to keep dragging your feet. We're, well, not, we're not dragging our feet. I'm yeah, getting my gear and I'm holding all your stuff and not doing your videos. I'm getting my gear and come done. over and video us. You come over and video us. Get I came over. Get off the property. Slow it down. Man. All right, everybody. So we've made it to a new bridge. I can't believe that happened just now, but. Check out the bridge right here. We're gonna be going underneath. It looks so crazy down here. I got you dinner. Yeah, yeah, no man, I got you dinner, yeah. We we came, we, I think we came last time. I think we came before. We were magnet fishing, I think. <laughs> you know, I just wanna do the right thing. And we saw him last time we were here as well. So let's get in the car, go to racetrack. And then when we get back, I'll do some scuba diving at this bridge. Awesome, man. Well, you have a good rest of your day. We're, I'm going to get over to the other side of the river and start doing some scuba diving. I've never seen this water as clear as it is today, but it is just crystal clear. The water has not been down like this in about three months. So if you guys want to check out some of the merch, check out depthsofhistory.com. If you use code DOH10, you'll get 10% off your first purchase plus free shipping. Now it's time to dive. So let's get the gear on and get in the water.
Oh my god! There's a snake! A snake here! So I just got out of the water. It was a great day of scuba diving, but I mean, it was, unfortunately it was a crazy day too. I mean, we got evicted or banned from Six Flags, which was definitely a wild experience, but we made it to a new bridge and I went scuba diving down there. It got to 20, 25 foot at some times, but I found some really cool stuff. Let me go over a few of my finds now. So I found these three different extended mags um, off of some sort of gun. I'm assuming it's a nine mil. This is this nine mil ammo. It came wrapped in this little fabric piece, which I'm not sure why it was wrapped in that. We'll never know. But I also found some beads. Um, I also got this knife, which was very strange. Looks like a 
really sharp blade of some sort, some sort of different knife. Uh, some sort of AM FM radio, which I thought that was a really interesting find. I got a squirt gun as well, which is pretty cool. But overall, man, I've got some other pieces of trash and a few other finds in here. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to press that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my buddy Johnny's channel, Georgia River Boys. I'm going to have him linked in the description below. Be sure to go over there and tell him that Britain sent you. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck. We'll see you guys on the next one.